Hey crazies, it's me Crazy Knock, and today we're gonna do something a little different. Have you ever wondered what those people are really thinking who say dead game, it's never coming back? I think on my Xbox it says I played for like six and a half hours or so. I personally <laughs> This game is going to fail once again. So first and foremost, let's go over- The only well-rounded character in multiverses is Shaggy. By the way, I don't main Shaggy. I main Harley Quinn. Every other- oh! Well, today we're gonna watch some of those people. We're gonna react and we're gonna see where they're goddamn dead wrong. Isn't that right, crazies? Yes, it is! Multiverses is going to fail again. What a bold statement. Come at me, bro! Of last year, multiverses was shut down because essentially the game was failing. It had no one playing it because Warner Brothers Discovery just did a horrible job handling it. They just didn't add new content to the game. And when you have a free to play live service game, the new content is what keeps the game alive nevertheless they finally got that announcement of what that's going to look like last week in the form of a short video on youtube okay Before what are your thoughts on it that, what they announced in that video or the lack of announcements in that video and why <laughs> he's mad about late it for multiverses and this game is going to fail once again so first and <laughs> foremost let's go over what to full on out say this game is going to fail because of it it's just, the, he saw the tweet, he saw the video, literally 3 million views, plus. That the game is coming back on May 28th of this year, in a couple of months, and that they're relaunching it, having learned from all of their mistakes that they yep, made the true. first time around. There's going to be a new player versus environment mode, and they're going to have updated netcode for a better matchmaking experience, and they reworked all the fighters, and they heard the feedback, and that's all they really said. And he, I like how he goes on for like 30 seconds. All they said was new Neko, new, you know, characters, new dash attacks, and all these new things, new everything, and then that's all they said. <laughs> new PvE mode. You just named a lot of new stuff that's coming. <laughs> like, woo! <laughs> I feel like they really didn't learn from anything, at least from this initial announcement, because I feel like if you're going to do something like this, which in general, I don't think it's a good idea to shut a game down and then let's relaunch it in a year's time and try to see if we fix everything. Because, yeah, it's been a year almost. It has been a year. I will say they could. I did say open beta. OK, it did say open beta. I do wish they were more transparent of like when they're going to close it and whatnot, because it felt bad for those people who grinded. I will agree that it felt bad for it to shut down. But it was in beta. It was ultimately the best decision for this game to shut down. If it kept going, it would just lose more and more reputation. It's, you know, it had to be done. It had to be done. I get where people are frustrated when it, it closed down. I really do. I really do. And I'm frustrated as well. Yeah. Like this whole thing is being mishandled once again because you basically came back and said we learned from everything we made a mistake on in the past we're going to rework all the characters fix our net code for better matchmaking we're adding a player versus environment mode but then didn't show us any of that it's like why should i care that this game is coming back when you didn't show me anything you didn't show me any reason why i should play again we know because that because you're obviously you just don't care about the game to begin with like, I don't know why he's looking for a reason to s play the game when he doesn't seem like to even like it. I understand. We all wanted to see more. I get where he's coming from. Yeah, I only had like 400 and something hours in the game. I mean, that is a lot, but it's not a lot compared to the other people. And I'm just super excited. What we saw here was very exciting. And the biggest thing, we got our release date. So he just needs to chill and sit back and wait until the release date and then make his final judgments, okay? You're just assuming so hard what am i gaining there should have been some mention for hey for our founders players if you bought one of the three founders tiers we have something special for you maybe you get early access to the game coming back maybe instead of may 28th you get it at the end of april instead like a month early oh that is disgusting okay i was actually you know seen from his point of view and what he was saying because yes i do hope they add I do hope they add stuff for the founders, and not only the founders, but people who were playing during the beta. You should get something, and then people at the founders should get a little something extra to show that there's support, you know? Like, hey, we're, we're sorry that we brought, we brought it down. I agree with that, but a month early access, God, what are you saying? That is disgusting. You talk about, why would I come back? And you're talking about what's good for the players. That would literally make the players even angrier. <laughs> a month early access, early access is terrible. 
they didn't show us why it's going to get better and based on this announcement i don't think it's going to be any better i think this game is they literally showed you what's going to be better they, yes they didn't show you details again but they literally told you you even said it from the words from your lips from your mouth you literally said what's going to be better i get it you just need more proof you don't want to like the game you need like absolute everything proof every little detail and then you're still going to go in the game and play it for like 10 hours and then be done again and complain because at the end of the day the game failed for a reason not because the gameplay itself is terrible i thought the gameplay was actually pretty good and it was okay tell me why you think it shut down i'm not the biggest 2d fighter fan like yes i've played smash brothers yes i've played nick all-star brawl one and two i don't have a ton of hours into those games because i'm not super into that genre i do enjoy playing them a little bit i checked out multiverses i think on my xbox it says i played for like six and a half hours or so i personally <laughs> <laughs> oh wow i was literally giving him 10 hours 10 hours for the next launch six and a half hours why would you just admit that you do not i don't care about these genres but the game is gonna fail why would why do you want me to come back why you never gave me a reason to come back oh also i don't like this genre that doesn't make any sense have zero desire to ever go back to that game and what are you gonna do to tie me back in to get me back logging into multiverse i'm sorry Maybe dude I'll the game isn't for fighter. you if they introduce like ben 10 or mordecai and rigby or mac and blue some fan favorite character dude dude if you're only playing multiverses just for the characters you're going to burn out and you are going to give up on the game i'm sorry i'm sorry that's just how it's gonna be i don't it doesn't matter if they come out with a new character every month if you're only there to play with new characters, I understand that it's needed in the game. Don't get me wrong. But if that's the only drive you have in this game, then you are going to get burned out no matter what they add, no matter what they do. I'm sorry, but that's just a reality. So you're saying, what are they going to do to bring me back? Nothing, dude. They can't. You are set from the get-go to hate the game. Not hate it, but just not like it. I don't know that i enjoy maybe that would get me to come back in but that's something that should have been there with this announcement because again how are you going to get the players to come back after you failed the first time and basically had them lose interest the first time because that's the big thing here the big thing is the reason why this game shut down is because people lost interest in it so essentially what they decided to do is okay let's shut it down for 10 months we're gonna work on some things internally and we're gonna get people it's like half right the reason it shut down was it was because it was too successful just think of it this way, you're, you work for these big companies and then one person quits, Tony, I don't know his full story, but he quits and he says, you know what, I want to make my own vision, I want to make a fighter game. So he gets like a few of his close friends or a few, you know, that he trusts and have the same vision. You go to Warner Brothers on a whim, just like, hey, what if we asked them if we could make their fighter game? And they say yes, and you're like, oh cool, let's build it. And then you're like, oh sweet, our first game to make it together, we go, 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 go. Ow! We're gonna go put it for free to play to our beta, and then boom, you get millions of downloads. Over 100,000, 150,000 players on Steam within the first, whatever, week, excluding Xbox and PlayStation. You're just this small team of like 10 to 20 people, and you're just drowning because so many players, there's just like so much going on, and you're like, wait, this is, this is how our beta wanted to go, but then you're like, wait, there's so much success, I need to have it succeed so they're pumping out updates they're probably pumping out stuff that they didn't plan on pumping out try to get the players satisfied and to stay and they're like seeing if they could actually maintain that all the way to launch but they just couldn't ultimately i think they know that was a mistake them being a new development company i am willing to forgive that and give them another chance i know this game has a great ass foundation a great ass <laughs> it has a great ass <laughs> great ass foundation and I know it's going to pop off because I can see the passion. I can see the love for this game. Well, I know the developers just want to burst out talking about this game as much as they want, but they're waiting to try to make it the best it can be on a launch, the best first impression, because you know how many people haven't seen this game? Millions that are going to be looking at this game. If you have this outlook after launch, then that's your own opinion, but you're just forcing this opinion because you're assuming it's what's going to happen. Don't you ever believe in Santa Claus? Believing is not seen. Believing is seen. God damn it, I messed it up. Seeing is not believing. So entitled to everything that he wants. Even though he does it, he's six and a half hours, bro. He has six and a half hours. What do you, what do you expect? This is not your game. I'm sorry. Go play Fortnite. 
I do remember LeBron James was supposed to be in the game from Space Jam. I believe I saw a Ted Lasso. There's no way. There's actually no way. There's no way! Finn, get away! Get away with the Melkies, okay? You do not have a smile on your face right now. Do you see? Do you just hear what he's saying about you right now? Finn, look at me! Look at me! Do not smile at this guy. He just said there's leaks of LeBron James. Just one of the first characters to come out in the open beta. Highly implies that the reason he wants to come back and play is for new characters. And yet he has no freaking idea that LeBron James was in the game. Oh, 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 I'm gonna have a heart attack, guys. Ah, ah. That hey, we're getting Ben 10. Hey, we're getting Ted Lasso. Hey, we're getting LeBron James and all the other characters. The other thing that I think they really um, Exactly my point, dude. This is exactly kind of proves my point that they have so many players that they haven't even reached. So they want to like hold off and make that huge impression, like showing so much stuff closer to launch. Imagine they just come out like introducing new characters, LeBron James, and that's it. <laughs> Everyone's like, yeah, LeBron James is going to be in there. And the rest of us who played the game are like, what the hell, what? And then they announced nothing other than it's coming back on May 28th and we have nothing new to say. We just fixed the issues that we had, but okay, what are the things that you... You came back and gave us a release date and said you're going to fix all the issues that that were happening. And that's it? That's it? They're so Dude, what is that freaking little dildo on the front of Batman's car? God damn. Penetrator 9000. Up to, I think today, the day you made this announcement on that Monday, I think and that was the time to get people back in. And I think you failed at doing so. And like I said before, what three about million, like me? What three about million plus. Founders? I respect the fact that they're giving it another chance. They're trying to fix the problems that they had. But like I said, I don't think they fixed anything because this announcement that they had a week ago shows that they didn't learn anything because they should have showed us what's new. Instead. I respect them for, uh, you know, keeping the game alive. But you know what? I don't think they did anything. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like. I was just like, of course I'm excited. I'm a little bit biased, I'll admit, that uh, I'm very excited for the game because I know the passion and foundation that they have is amazing and I love the game. Even though you can go watch my videos and I rage almost every match because, you know, of all the problems, but deep down I can look past that and see what a truly gem of a game it was. I get the part where like, yeah, we wanted to see more. Trust me, I think everyone wants to see more. But at least we have a release date. All right, next, we have a, a lot shorter video. It's like three minutes. I just shot on Reddit. I don't know who this guy is. I don't know who any of them are. I just wanted to react to people natively talking about multiverses. Multiverses went from over 150,000 active players to only 5,000 players in two months. That is a 97% drop in player base. What the fuck happened? I know what happened. The game Do fails. You? on too many fronts. Let's start with the obvious, the servers. Through randomly teleporting off stage or teleporting under the stage. Valid, valid. Your box is not functioning properly, causing you to spend half the match just trying to hit the other person. To the Whoa. private lobbies you try to form, constantly disconnecting both players. The servers are just so fucking janky, it doesn't make it fun to play. Next that is, is accurate. Game that is accurate. Burns out too fast because it's too one dimensional. Let's take a one dimensional for an example. Smash Bros. Ah! How many offensive options do you have in Smash Bros? There's rolling, spot dodging, air dodging, shielding, parrying, teching, grabbing ledge, wave dashing, countering with your own move, recovery. That is over eight defensive options you have in Smash Bros. What does Multiverses have for defensive options? So basically what he's getting into is saying, why didn't you just copy Smash Bros? Because it's not Smash Bros! Bro, I'm not saying Multiverses is going to kill Smash Bros. I don't want it to kill Smash Bros. Because it has a place. Why can't someone just goddamn innovate their game? God forbid make it new and refreshing. A new take on the platform fighter instead of a goddamn clone every goddamn time. Smash Bros. Smash Bros. Doesn't Smash Bros. have its own problems? They don't even use rollback netcode. They are innovative with their easy and simplistic design to get people involved. It is easy to learn and get into, but hard to master. There's dodging, yep. and that's fucking it. It's simple and fun. Here? There's no depth. There's no depth at all. And it becomes even you don't more understand. shallow when you put characters- How about you swatch your mouth and don't interrupt me? 
It's like comparing a Leatherman tool, a multi-tool, and saying that's just better than a knife. No, no, not necessarily. A knife can do so many things. Why can't multiverses just be the knife? And you know, you can have Smash Bros with a multi-tool. Smash, you have grabs, you have jabs, you have specials that can change from the ground and in the I'm air. Glad you have tilt attacks. I'm glad that you don't you have, have all that. That's five different movesets. I'm glad you, have. you don't have versus, all you only those. You have two movesets, specials and normals. And then those things change in the air. When you're playing the game and it being fast paced, it's a lot more than you think. Most of the characters are horribly designed. In my opinion, the only- It's like one of the best design characters is coming from like an animation and like artwork. Just characters in general standpoint, it's amazing. And also, that's not why the game died, okay? So they only had the battle pass, that's literally it. You have a battle pass, and then you have a to queue up. That's literally it, and with their server problems, which you said was, was valid, that's why it died. And why, why are you not opening your eyes when you're listening to me talk to you, buddy? Competitive players didn't even have ranked. That was all buggy and terrible matchmaking. That's why it ultimately died. Only well-rounded character in multiverses is Shaggy. By the way, I don't main Shaggy. I main Harley Quinn. Every other oh! is just terrible. Harley bizarre. Quinn. You have Tom and Jerry. That's just not true. And projectiles, but yet he's the fastest character in the game. Tom and Jerry's fastest character in the game. The you have Bugs Bunny, who's also ridiculously fast with a shit ton of projectiles. Everyone's you have fast. Superman with the fastest roll in the game. A yes. grab that can Superman kill you at twenty percent anywhere. And super armor. That was in early. Yes, that was broken. I agree. The Superman grab. And the worst part is, instead of focusing on these issues, I they're can't. just releasing new characters on a broken game, expecting that to keep people in. It's terrible. Oh, I can't. I can't. Fine, you don't have to enjoy the game, that's fine. But you can't just sit there and shit on it and be like, this is why Smash is better. This is why Multiverses is terrible. Like, no, you just gave reasons why Multiverses is good. Woo, I'm getting, I'm getting hyped. Do I need to calm down? Do I need to calm down? That would be a great thing for all of humanity. Okay, I need to calm down. They do not like the game. They just don't like the game and that's fine. I don't really care if you like the game or not. I mean, I do, I want you to like the game because I want players there, but it just seemed like they didn't like the core mechanics of the game. And uh, I know a lot of people, including myself, really do love it and really do appreciate it and really do see the value. Don't listen to those guys because I'm telling you, there's gonna be so many new players, so many great things coming to Multiverses. And I can't wait! To share in all the glory with all you crazies! Alright, goodbye crazies, have a great rest of your night, and goodbye. Goodbye crazies! Goodbye crazies, love you crazies! Goodbye crazies! <laughs>